Here's your quick head to toe warm up you can do anytime, anywhere that will wake you up and get your body ready for the day. Don't forget to subscribe, click the bell for notifications, like this video, and let me know what you think in the comments below. Starting with your neck, you're just going to look side to side, working with whatever range you have. I like to do everything about 8 to 10 times, just a nice round number, keeps me even. <laughs> Now up and down, really letting your head fall forward, down towards your chest, up towards the sky. Again, you're working with whatever range of motion you have, and the more you do this, the better it'll get. Because really, the thing about our bodies is, if you don't use it, you lose it. That includes our range of motion and mobility. That's why doing this is so important. Your ear goes towards your shoulder. <sighs> Try not to move your shoulders. You don't need to move the rest of your body. It's just your neck that's working right now. And there should not be any discomfort. There shouldn't be any pain. You're just going to your end range. You're really getting a chance to assess and get awareness on where your body is today because every day is different. Jut your chin out and pull it back. So here and then pull back. This is a really wonderful move for counteracting all the time we spend on our devices. And then side to side. It's like you're looking around a pole on either side. This one's pretty hard. Your neck does not have tons of range going in this direction, so don't feel weird or upset that it doesn't move that much. Even a little tiny bit is great. And then now you're going to go all the way around on that plane. snaps, crackles, and pops, and that's totally normal. It's okay if things are cracking a little bit as you get into this motion, or any of these motions, really. And the other way. I'm trying to do everything evenly on both sides, so the whole body's getting some love. your head fall all the way forward, all the way back, as much as is comfortable for you. So this is a really wonderful morning wake up, warm up. You know, I do this every day right when I get out of bed because it helps get my body to wake up and be ready for the day, especially after eight plus hours laying in a bed. your body, where do you feel any sort of pain, where do you feel a glitch, where your neck doesn't want to go all the way around, just to know. It doesn't mean anything is wrong, you're just getting more awareness of where your body is today. And now coming down to your shoulders, we're going to do figure eights, and you're sort of drawing a figure eight right out in front of you with your hand. They can be big, they can be little. It's really about where your range is right now today. Again, it's okay if you have some cracks or snaps that you hear in your shoulder, as long as it doesn't hurt. If it does hurt, if there's any kind of discomfort, just try to make a smaller figure eight. It's okay if they're this big. And then you're gonna turn it around, going the other direction. Put 
really just drawing a figure eight like I would on a chalkboard. And now the other hand. Same thing. I get my hand out of the way by putting it on my chest. Just because otherwise I don't always know what to do with it. does take a little bit of brain work. You gotta focus on it when you first start and get used to doing these figure eights in each direction. It does get a little confusing, but I think that's part of the fun. And now we're gonna go to the side and in front. So big back stroke back and right in front of your face. Here. Opening up as wide as I, my arm will allow. And then we're going to go the other way. So rolling the shoulder forward and down. Forward and down. And then the other arm. Backwards and in front. Really working all the different degrees that our shoulders have in terms of range of motion. And you can take your time with this. You can move as slowly or quickly as is comfortable for you. If you get any kind of tingles in your fingers, you can just slow it down. It's just blood rushing around the ends of your hands. And the other way. Last one of these, we're going to go in front and behind. So I'm sweeping down by my legs and down by my butt. The less I need to turn my body to do this, the less the rest of my body is getting involved and compensating for the limitation my shoulder has. So it's a really great test, actually, of where your range of motion is. If I come up against a wall, I can go here, here. And if you touch the wall, that's fine. It's just a great way of knowing where you're at today, and it's a really wonderful way of seeing what your progress is. So if you did this today, and then you came back after doing this warm-up every day for two weeks, you'd notice a difference. And now I'm giving you a side view. I'm going in front. especially these arm circles, I think are better than a cup of coffee in terms of waking you up and getting you ready for the day. This is a really wonderful way of just turning the whole system on. And now coming down to our chest, we're working the trunk. So from going side to side, really pressing as far to the side as is comfortable for you. And this one I especially love doing right when I get out of bed. You can feel it pull all the way along the outside of the body. And then pressing forward, chest is out and proud. And then I'm gonna round back, pressing forward and rounding back. And then you're going to go all the way around. I usually do get some cracks in my back from this, but it always feels really good. Again, you're getting 
getting to see where you are today, the more you do this, the more you will notice a change and an improvement in your range of motion. And now the other way. Sometimes one direction works really well and the other one is limited. And that's just a great thing to note. It gives us more understanding of where we could stretch more, what side of the body is more limited than the other or is tighter than the other. And now coming down to the hips, same exact idea. Squeezing the glutes, pressing the pelvis forward, and then releasing the butt and relaxing back. So squeezing, pushing the pelvis forward, relaxing, letting those hips open, letting that back arch squeeze. And then pushing out side to side. You can bend your knees a little bit. Your legs do not need to be locked out at all. And you should feel it all along that outside. And then great big circles again trying to go to whatever your end range is. And again, now the top part of my body doesn't really need to move. This is all about the hips working and opening up. And of course, we gotta go the other way. down to the knees. It's always good to give your knees a little bit of love during the day because our legs do a lot of work. So I'm just doing little circles, relaxing my hands just above my knees so I have a good balance. My feet are together. Nice little rotation and then you're going to go the other way. Again, this should not hurt. Just reminding your legs and your knees especially where they can go, what kind of range they have today. And then coming all the way down to the ankles, and you're just gonna roll your ankles out. This is a great opportunity to see what kind of limitations you have. If you've had any injuries, you know those ankles might crack. But this is also a great way to warm them up and get them ready for walking all day. Standing around, doing all kinds of things. Going the other way. Other foot. And the other way. Now you're ready for the day.